Hello, today we will talk about breast enlargement in Photoshop on the example of this beautiful model. And let's jump right ahead. We are going to use uh, to liquify from filters menu. Uh, you can also invoke it by shift control x combination. Uh, once you click on this tool you will see a sort of set of tools. There are some instruments on the left uh, which we will briefly go through. Some of them allow you just to drag things around the screen, rotate them, uh, but we are going to use the bloat tool or uh, hotkey B. S here's how it works. It basically bloats whatever is under the mouse. Uh, first of all, we need to increase the size of our brush. We can use slider on the right, but it's not very convenient since we have to move our mouse here and there. We can use left and right square brackets. Hotkeys, it increases and decreases the brush size. It's much more easy and convenient. So when I'm happy with size, I simply make two short mouse presses and you can see already how how it grows. Uh, we'll enhance it. Ah oh, no, it's to be too much. It's no, not my size. Let's leave it at this for a moment and see the difference. Here's what we have and here's what we used to have. Well, a bit better but actually it's Photoshop, we can do anything there, so let's enlarge them a bit more, just the way they have to be. So again, we adjust our brush size, we have bloat selected, we'll play with additional options a little bit, brush density, and all that stuff, and let's just enlarge them a bit more. A little bit here, a bit there until we're happy with form. As everywhere else you can undo your actions with Ctrl Z and just with this bloat tool we have such result what used to be and what is now well quite satisfying I should say. Let's go a bit further and enhance the contrast. Uh, it's a little bit more advanced technique but, but nothing nothing complicated. Basically we will make dark things darker and make highlights lighter. It will be uh, it will attract more attention to this area since it's more contrast, more sharpen and it enhances the look of the enlargement, if you can say it that way. Anyways, how are we going to do it? We will use a burn and dodge tool here on the left. First of all, we'll take burn and I will show you how it works, what it actually does. Uh, if we exaggerate it, it darkens the darker parts of the image, but we don't need so much of it. We will decrease our exposure a little bit, around 5%, I would say. And just make few slight strokes on the dark areas, the areas that need to look dark just around, a bit here, a bit there. Okay, and now let's switch to dodge tool. I will show you as well what it does. It uh, it makes highlights even lighter. Here, here how it looks like. Well, we don't need too much of it. I'll just I'll show you how it looks. We will undo all actions. Just 
make few strokes here and there just to enhance the perception if you can say it so uh, just like this well I like the result so you can take pictures of your friends girlfriends granddad grandmom whatever and play with it share your pictures I think it looks great well thank you and see you later